Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Angel Maker. Now, if you want to download this for yourselves, look down below in the description. You can get this for free, alright? Now, I think this isn't a full game yet. I think this is actually more of a demo and a prototype of something that's actually in the works right now. But this is supposed to be a first-person horror game about Dagmar Overby, a Danish serial killer who in the early 20th century killed at least nine children, and probably many more. Sounds like a lot of fun, despite what I just said. So here we go, let's play. Hope you enjoy it. So here we are, Copenhagen 1916. And I don't think I'm playing as Dagmar herself, I think I'm playing as some sort of caretaker. On the first night. Seek the light of angels. Not your typical objective, but I'll see what I can do. I can already see a key down there. Okay. Okay, we're here. Right, so first things first, let's go collect that key. The blue diamond key. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that with me. All right, so what we got here? A note from my employer, apparently. Dagmar, there you go. Finally awake, are we? If you come back one more time smelling of liquor, I will personally make sure you end up on the street. Let me remind you that I have been a gracious and generous employer, letting you stay in my own home. One more mistake and you are on your own. Since I could not rouse you from your stupor, I need you to repair the projector. I'll be having clients over in the morning and I need it to be in working condition. Take the blue diamond key that I left on the dresser. It opens the door to the living room where you can find the projector. Then go to the storage room at the end of the hall and get whatever you need to fix the projector. You can do that much, can't you? When you're done, return to your quarters. I do not want you rummaging around my home after dark. It upsets the children. Dagmar. Yes. Unbeknownst to me, a lot of them are dead. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. All right, yes, this was mentioned, and um, yeah, this is pretty bad. The mouse sensitivity is extraordinarily low, and it doesn't seem like there's any way for you to change it. There might be like a button you've got on your mouse, that doesn't seem to do much. Uh, you can change it in the hardware, that doesn't do anything. There was the options screen, but you can't access that right now, so at the moment it seems like it's going to take, what? I have to drag my mouse across my mouse mat like five or six times to spin around. That's not great. Okay. So yeah, that probably should be the next thing that gets looked at. So yeah, if you do see me steadily, slowly turning around, that's why. It's the best that I can do. Okay. Looks like we got something here, as we hear creaks in the distance. Four little children playing in the woods. The first, wearing blue, fell in a well. Three little children playing in the woods. The second, wearing red, was filled with dread and lost his head. Two little children playing in the woods. The third, wearing green, punctured his spleen. One little child playing in the woods. The fourth, wearing yellow, was now astray and became my prey. Now they are all lost, and to what cost? Four lost souls playing in the woods. Okay. That is a weird bedtime story, all right, but blue, red, green, yellow, that seems interesting. Okay, so blue, red, green, yellow. That's certainly going to be for a puzzle, I'm sure. It doesn't seem like we can open the drawers. Something through there? Hmm, maybe. Okay, if I click or double click, doesn't seem to work, so we're not getting through there. What about this one here? Oh! Oh, a combination lock! How fun! How fun! Um, it's not 1720, apparently. It might have something to do with the blue, red, green, yellow that I just noted down. Maybe there's uh, some numbers attached to it somehow. Yeah. I'll come back to that door, I suppose. You got something? Is that... Oh, hang on, yeah, I can just about see that. It's a, a child's shoe. Okay, it's a brown child-sized shoe, with a number on the bottom, actually. It's seven, but okay, this is brown. Oh, maybe we're looking for blue ones? Red ones? Green ones? Yellow ones? Through here? No? Okay. What about this one? 
No, that doesn't seem to work either. Okay. This does look pretty creepy. It's giving me PT vibes, honestly. Can't get through there. And what is that? Hanging off the ceiling there. Oh, that's that's got to be the door that we got the key to, right? The blue diamond door. It's a perfect fit. Seems like I turned the key the wrong way, but... Okay, it does actually open the door. Let's focus on this first, though. It's a box hanging from the ceiling. Seems to be suspended through the wall. Right. Naturally, I can't get it open. Oh, hang on. Can't get this one open, though. Here we are. What we got? Oh. It looks like we've got a red shoe. With a... Okay, red is one, it seems. Okay, so we are, I think, looking for blue, green, and yellow shoes. Anything else? There's a toolbox. That's what I need to fix the projector, apparently. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. Yeah, very creepy. Right, through here. Yeah, that's more like it. Is, uh, is that the bitch herself? Is that Dagmar? Probably, right? Oh, look, we got another shoe. It's, uh, it's not the right color. Unless all the colors worn away. Four. Okay. It says it's black. Okay, so yeah, that's not what we're looking for. Um. Okay, let's maybe go through here if we can. Can we? Oh, we can. Yes. Get that open. Come on. Right. Oh, I see a blue one. I see a blue one. Let's check this first, though. Some sort of list of names and payments. Right. All the children that she was being paid to look after. Most of which, I assume, are dead. Or well, they soon will be. Okay. So, blue. Blue apparently is three. Okay, so we just need two more. We need green and yellow. Thank you very much. That appears to be that. Yes. Uh, to be honest, I did play a game, I think it was called More, that was sort of based on Dagmar. Or it was, you know, it had the same kind of concept. Okay. There's the projector that I need to fix. And these would be the doors that just wouldn't open, I suppose. I don't suppose I can unlock them from this side, can I? No. What we got here? It's a letter. Okay. Dear Miss Dagmar Overby, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to you in order to express my sincerest gratitude over you adopting my sweet Carl. As I have expressed previously, our family have been through hard times and haven't been able to afford another mouth to feed, but I do miss him so. Me and my husband would like to propose that we see him once a month and pay two extra kronor over the agreed upon 11 kronors a month for your trouble. Girlie and Carl's Jensen. Carl, I think, is dead. Yeah. So that doesn't work. And neither does that, but hopefully I can fix the projector. Okay. Easy as that. <laughs> if only it was. Uh, turn it? Okay. So I'm, I'm just pointing it towards the doors. Can't I point it over there so I can actually see what's being projected? No? Oh. Oh. Oh, right. Yes. So another feature this game has is that it's meddling around with non-Euclidean geometry. And I like it very much. A hastily written note. I do not know which one of you bastard children that did this, but you must think yourself to be terribly clever. Stealing my key and hanging it from the ceiling must have been a laugh. But I need that ruby key, goddammit. Just you wait until I figure out which one of you ungrateful brats that did it. Then you'll be sorry. Take it down at once, and I might just consider not having you confined to the basement for the rest of your miserable existence. A lovely caring woman there. Although, to be honest, it sounds like she deserved it. Wait. 
were on the other side of that door. And that's why we couldn't get through. I can cut the rope with something sharp. Right, I need to find something sharp. Can't I, like, burn it? There's a candle right there. No? I, well, okay, I, I need to find something sharp. Fair enough. I also need to find uh, a couple more shoes. In the dark. Through here? No. Okay, alright, fair enough. Let's head back. That was pretty interesting. So, I suppose if I spin this around to another door? Yeah, let's try this one. <laughs> I like this. Conceptually, I really, really like this. Oh boy. It's so dark as well. Oh. Okay, I can see there's something through there. Ah, I suppose I'd need the ruby key to get through there. Yeah, I think so, I think so. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Right. Bit of a dead end. What if I choose that door over there? Let's spin this around, 180 degrees. Boom. Okay. I can just about see a hallway, yep. Just see the corner there. I see a shoe. I see a shoe. Would that be the yellow one? Yes, it's yellow. Okay, so yellow is what? Yellow is two. So we're just missing green, it seems. Okay, so three, one, something, two. All right. Um, well, I suppose I could just guess at the other digit, couldn't I? Did someone turn the projector off? It's given me spooks. <laughs> As it should. It's Halloween after all. Okay, right, yes, this way. Okay, go on, a little bit further. Where the hell's this? Oh, oh, is this where I started? This is where I started, I see, right, so... I don't remember there being so many candles down here. Right, well, there you go. That's weird, but cool. I like that. Yeah, can't get through there. I might be able to get this door open here, though. Let's see. So it's it's 3-1-something-2. Six, okay. Ooh. Alright. Oh, this is the bit from the menu, isn't it? Actually, yeah, I did see that there was a knife down here. It looks sharp enough to cut through anything. Funny you should say that. Okay. Wonderful. Anything else? Maybe something through here? No, not this time. Okay. Oh. Go on. <laughs> uh, was this here before? I regret to inform you that Carl has passed away due to natural causes. A post-mortem document will be provided by my personal physician upon request if you do not believe my words to be true. His remains have been cremated and buried in the central cemetery. Dagmar of Pit. Right, well I think, to be honest, he was put in an oven. Or he was trapped in a basement and suffocated, or something like that. It's really, really quite sad. She was only convicted of nine children dying. I think it was maybe up to 20, 24 people, something like that as well, 24 kids. There was just nine that could be proven. Right, so I think next thing is we need to go and cut that down. So that means we need to go and play around with the projector again, which is actually off, worryingly. Um, that's more like it. Okay. So, I think it's through here. Yep, that's it. And then to the left. And I should be able to use the knife to cut the rope. Which, in turn, should have dropped the box. And I'm hoping that the box has the... Huh. <laughs> I'm hoping that the box has that ruby key in it.
Go on. Oh. Oh, we're in that open door that just shot in my face. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> I like this, yeah. This is neat. Okay, that's still open. But here we are. That's it, a glowing gem. In fact, it's the ruby key. Nothing else? I think it's really just the key we need. I don't know what that was. If I could turn around quicker, I would have. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a big issue, unfortunately. It's holding this game back. Um, so I think it was to the right. So just one more time. That's it. Come on, over here. I get terribly nervous in this section. Right, yeah, let's, let's see if this works. It should. Okay. Alrighty. This is looking a little worrying. There was a hole here. <laughs> Not it's gone now, but now it's gone. Nice little Silent Hill reference, I suppose. Well, it's it's not gone at all. It's just round the corner, actually. What have we got here? Basement deceased. Harvested. Deceased. Drained. Hmm. Gudrun and Anna. They're the ones yet to be killed. Damn. Okay. So... Whoa! We've got to try and save some of the kids. Oh boy, let's go down. Seek the light of angels. And plunge into darkness with them. Well, I think I just did. Ah, and unfortunately it seems that is where the Angel Maker prototype comes to an end. So, thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I quite enjoyed this, yeah, I, I did enjoy this. I think I'd enjoy it a little bit more if I could change my mouse sensitivity. <laughs> I want the option screen to be available so I can ramp that sucker right up. Uh, that is the thing that's holding it back, I hope that's the next thing that gets addressed. But yeah, um, creepy environment, it's a creepy story, a creepy concept about a creepy person, really. And I did enjoy you know, going into these non-Euclidean environments, using the projector and just going through walls and entering these new areas, and coming out in different ones as well. That was pretty cool. Um, it seems like there's ample room for more scary things to happen, whether it be sound effects, things you see, shadows in the distance, maybe even jump scares. That might be what this game was lacking a little bit of as well. Um, but I am very interested as to what might happen when you fall down that hole. Do you go into the basement? Do you try and save the kids? Maybe there's other projectors down there, other doorways to go through. I don't know, but I'm interested, so I'm going to keep my eye on this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Seek the light of angels. Not your typical objective, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I have to drag my mouse across my mouse mat like five or six times to spin around. That's not great. Four lost souls playing in the woods. Okay. That is a weird bedtime story, all right. Easy as that. <laughs> if only it was. Oh? Oh. Oh, right. I might just consider not having you confined to the basement for the rest of your miserable existence. A lovely caring woman there. Did someone turn the projector off? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I regret to inform you that Carl has passed away due to natural causes, and I'm hoping that the box has the... Huh. Okay. So... Whoa!